It's okay to have a dumb theory. It's not okay to lie about my evidence for my theory. Well, nine years later, they still had no evidence. So Haeckel decided to help out. He was going to make some evidence. Now, on top are Haeckel's fake drawings. Underneath are the actual photographs of these animals. He lied. His own university held a trial and convicted him of fraud. It's been proven wrong since 1875, and they still keep it in the books. Trilobites make good index fossils. If a trilobite is found in a rock layer, the rock layer probably formed 500 to 600 million years ago. There are all kinds of different types of trilobites, and there probably are some still alive today. Certainly the Baltic isopod is still alive. Humans and chimps have thousands of differences. Thousands of differences. Overall, this guy says, the genetic difference is only 1.6%. They say dinosaurs turn to birds. There are very few ideas as dumb as this one. The Bible says God made the birds on day five. He made the reptiles on day six. Evolution says reptiles came first and then the birds. You know, everything about evolution is backwards to the Bible. Every yes, boys and girls, gills are an adaptation to living in water. Oh, well, how did they live before they adapted the gills? Archaeopteryx means ancient wing, and he had claws on his wings. Well, that's kind of unusual, okay. But 12 birds today have claws on their wings. The swan, the ibis, the hoatzin, several birds have claws. They say, well, he had teeth in his beak. Well, not many birds have teeth. Some do. Here's a hummingbird has teeth in his beak. Could an ink pen evolve? Could a paper clip evolve? It just goes through a bunch of simple things and show it just can't happen, okay? Why don't they show us an example of a beneficial mutation? And the textbook says, humans probably evolved from bacteria more than four billion years ago. What? They can swim through peanut butter 60 miles an hour. We should sign them up for the Olympics, man. We evolved from them? <laughs> We're getting worse, not better. So tell the kids, okay kids, the mammals, the birds, and the crocodiles have a common ancestor. They draw these trees in the books, and they look so pretty, and the kid goes, wow, they've got proof. I saw it in my book. We can prove the existence of God by the impossibility of the contrary. It's impossible that there not be a designer. Here's National Pornographic. A Geographic says, 